In my field, just as a scientist, we view politics as a barrier between where we are and where we want to go. But of course, in Washington, politics is the currency of interaction. And so how do you, as a professional politician, balance what is objectively true about the world with what people want to be true about the world? Yeah, there's still a surprising number of people who don't believe in evolution. Right. And the campaign against evolution has been politically amazingly successful. And and I think they, I'm a good red-blooded American, and I will say, I don't mind that you don't believe in evolution. You just shouldn't be on a science committee <laughs> making decisions that affect the entire country. Or rewriting our textbooks against where 90-something percent of the people are. Right. The same thing is true with climate change. It's inconvenient for some people, so they just disavow it. We may be, those of us who believe in it, may be wrong about how quick the adverse consequences would be manifest. But I, I think with regard to science, we at least have to get those people who have no interest in it to adopt what is now my mode of thinking, the grandparent test. That is, you name me one other risk-related decision, where if 95% of the experts were here, and one to 5% of the experts were there, any grandparent would stake his or her grandchild's future on the 5%. How about this? Suppose a guy wrote one article in one journal and said, you know, I've been thinking about these child restraint seats. And I think, you know, there's a one in a million chance a kid could snap his neck. So I recommend just throwing the kid in the back seat and letting them roll around. And 99% of the people said, oh my God, you can't do that. These are working, look at the, how much the fatality's gone down. Name me one grandparent who choose the 1%, not one. But that's what we do with climate change. I mean, my theory is nothing would create more new jobs and new enterprise than changing the way we produce and consume energy and other resources. And if you can do it in a way that's good for the economy, it's probably something you ought to do anyway. Scientists need to say, look, we're not being dogmatic. If you can show us we're wrong, we'll admit we're wrong. We're wrong all the time. We're still opening doors. We're opening doors. We're opening doors. And that these fields of knowledge are coming together in ways that are beautiful.